Hi, welcome to Ray Purpose Made, where I, Reynaldo, show you the ins and outs of some of my furniture projects. I try to always incorporate art into the furniture making process so that each finished piece is custom and one of a kind. Check out how I do it. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel to see what's coming up next. You smoke weed? Are you tired of your paraphernalia being splayed all over the place? Do you want to be more organized? You know what you need. You need one of my custom, decadent weed trays of built-in storage. Obviously, this just could have been a painted piece of wood. But for London, I wanted to go all out and be extra, extra special. I mean, weed is legal here anyway now, so go up, right? Functionally, this is a platter and a storage box that are put together. And what that meant when I, when I thought about how I was going to design this, or construct this rather, is that I wanted to use two by twos to be the separators for the sides and to separate the platter spot from the storage space. And when it comes to the design of these things, I always like to have my wood burn pattern somewhere featured with the highlighted color or the highlighted design that the client wants. So I saw it best to highlight the storage box because that's the part that's going to be wood finish and not like a color or epoxy. So let me do the wood burn on the inside. And when I was doing the wood burn, actually my pen broke and that is the reason why the inside of the box part is half wood burn and half like a little hard edge paint splatter situation. I had to keep on going so I kept on going. But then I got another wood burn pen. Thank you, Shondell. Hey. And I finished the actual job. When it came to the lid, I had a, a couple options. The lid could have been a, a hinge lid, which is a little bit awkward because now you have to get hinges to make sure it folds open and close. And I wanted it to just be a top lid. And it's lifted up and then you expose. But then I felt kind of boring. It's a square lid on top of this exciting, exciting epoxy stuff. So I decided, decided to do the kaboom shape. The kaboom shape, a little bit of zigzag all over. The, the lid and I wanted to return to uh, London's original um, design choice of having the splatter paint. So that's why I did the white with the splatter paint on that side. Being that both the border to the tray and the LED lights are pink, I initially set out to only use clear and white epoxy colors. And I say up colors because uh, I use the pearl powder pigment to make whites turn into pearls and metallics and to make the clears turn into silvers and other things. But as I was doing this, I had to add a lot, a lot of layers to make sure that the LEDs laid down and I started to get more creative. And I got more creative by creating these shapes called blastomas, which is like a explosion shape. I did it first with the pink where I take like a, throw some epoxy down and like to start pulling the, the shapes out to create like a blast shape. And it kind of fits well with the lid top too being like a kaboom, so it's kind of thematic. Also, I play with glow-in-the-dark paint. I know that you can mix glow-in-the-dark paint with epoxy and get the same effect as if you just painted glow-in-the-dark. So there's a lot of like a luminescence inside of the actual epoxy uh, bed when the lights go out. And also the LED lights make the glow-in-the-dark light more for a second also, so that's pretty cool. And when I was doing the final part at the top, I wanted to spray paint a little bit of white, a little bit of the dark on that also, because I thought, why not? Let's just keep it going. London can find the weed in the dark now, so it works, you know? Thank you for watching my video. Stick around, there's a little bit more, but I want to take this time to ask you to like, share, subscribe, follow my page. I post twice a week, and if you hit that little bell in the bottom, you'll be notified when I do.
And if you want to see more of my work or want your very own Ray Purpose piece, you can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, Etsy, and Gmail under Ray Purpose. Thank you. Hey, London. Hey. Open up. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Oh, man. And it's Kimberly Pink. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh shit! Thank you. <laughs> oh wow, this is nice. I am like really excited to put um some hors d'oeuvres on here. Hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, yeah, you know some green tea. <laughs> wow, this is re- I I love it. Thank I you. love it.